Team Crunch, baby. We don't even bring a car. Blocks. It's pretty, pretty rad. So look at all the places I could walk. Feet start hurting. Yeah, it's a mean NA 700 horsepower. So. All right, guys, what's going on? So we're gonna start this video off at almost 10 o'clock at night, and we're just now, it's also Tuesday, just now leaving for SEMA. Yeah, woo, right? So we got a whole pile of stuff here. We got some road trip stuff. We got clothes and then camera stuff. You can obviously see which is more important here. But yeah, so we are going to SEMA this year. Uh, we are a little late to the start. I did just get my hair cut too. But I got my mullet trimmed up so you can see it's not, not gone, but I uh, definitely needed to trim it. It was getting really stringy, so. But I put a poll up on my Instagram if I should keep the mustache for SEMA, and it was like 76% of people said yes. So I was like, okay, I guess we're keeping it. But uh, I'm waiting on Sean, it's about 9.30 right now. Uh, we have a four and a half hour drive from here to Vegas. Uh, we'll check in at like 2 a.m. ish, and then wake up at like 6 or 7 a.m. and go straight to SEMA, and it's just gonna be a long week. So our first day at SEMA is gonna be Wednesday, Day. It should have been like Sunday, Monday because we're media. So I got in with media passes. Sean is my camera guy for the week. So I get to boss him around and tell him what to do. Um, but the cool thing is we'll be able to get 30 minutes in early every single day. So we can kind of run around and not have a bunch of people around us, which would be pretty rad. But yeah, as you can see, definitely dark outside waiting on Sean to show up. You should be here any minute and then we get the show on the road. Look who showed up. Right on time. <laughs> you calling me? You ready to go to SEMA? Let's go. All right, cool. <laughs> Alrighty, so uh, first gas fill up of the day and we have expensive gas. This is how California is compared to everywhere else right now. But uh, check out Sean's new whip. This thing's pretty fancy. It's got an F-150 Platinum EcoBoost 3.5 we're going to be taking up there and it uh, should be a pretty fun drive. So it is right now currently, it's currently just shy of 10 and 10 p.m. Check-in ends at 3 a.m. They will not check us in after 3 a.m. And it is about a four and a half hour drive from here. So that should put us at about 2 a.m. if all goes well. So we're gonna stop and gra grab something to eat out of a gas station real quick and just try to truck on there in one big stop. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, geez. Well, made it to Baker. Middle of nowhere. Oh, got our big thermometer over there. Oh, largest thermometer. So it's one in the morning. We have what, an hour left? A little hour over there? An hour and a half? Maybe. Half yeah. yeah, I think an hour and a half, something like that. Just figured we should probably stretch our legs a little bit. Haven't moved in three hours. Just been staring straight straight in front of me at nothingness. So we just got a little bit more to go and then we'll get a, we'll get there probably about 2.30, check in, get to bed at three and then wake up at seven and start this like 18 hour day that it's ahead of me and then do the same thing for two more days and then hopefully get a decent amount of sleep on Saturday and go home. So we'll keep on trucking. We'll catch you guys up when we get to the stratosphere of all hotels, which is pretty rad, so. Thing's huge. Tall? Yeah, it's just a little tall. A lot taller in person. God. What? Oh, it's drive-through weddings. Elvis weddings. Oh, this is so, awesome. Do I turn here? Uh, probably. We'll just go go with that. Look at that. Look at that sauce. Okay, so this is the Strat. I'm. I, I swear I'm not the only person that thought this. Um, but apparently the Strat and the Stratosphere are the same thing i thought the strat and the stratosphere were different things so but it does make sense so yeah we're at the stratosphere so that's cool you want to valley the new whip kind of hobbling, not gonna lie. oh you're hobbling all right all right oh damn guy okay. we're valleying sean's we're truck right staying now here. all right well finally got to the hotel it's literally 3 a.m i think it's set it somewhere on one of these clocks SEMA crunch, baby. We don't even bring a car. But, uh, yeah, I'm really tired. So, Sean, we, we're going to get less than four hours of sleep, so I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Damn. That thing's pretty big. <laughs> All right. Well, SEMA day one. So, we're trying to find our shuttle because I know there is one. Uh, if we're too stupid to figure it out, then we have to get an Uber. So, we're going to try to get that figured out because we're already late. We overslept because we had all four hours of sleep. <laughs> All righty, look at that. SEMA show, baby. Well, we're only two days late, not terrible. <laughs> but uh, we've got some autocross stuff going on, and so we're gonna check in, get our media credentials figured out, because we still gotta do that, and then from there, we'll kind of figure out where the day is gonna go. Alright, 
So we've been at SEMA for like two minutes. There's a stupid amount of stuff here. <laughs> I told him, I was like, you don't understand. We will have like zero time to do anything. We're not gonna see everything here either. And uh, so much stuff. Yeah, there, there's a ton of stuff. So I mean, you guys can just see, this isn't even like 10% of the show outside. And then there's even more inside. So it's pretty crazy. Nice. <laughs> With our actual name on them. <laughs> I feel like I'm important or something. I know, I'm, I accidentally messed up Sean's. So you can see. What's this crazy oh, it, on it? Uh, the, are, oh, wow, look at they that. Are right. they I, are right. I, I own you. Well, I mean, basically. <laughs> It was actually really funny. So we walked up to, I think we're in Central Hall right now, and it, it's like exhibitors only. And uh, so we like waited for a second, and then the one guy's like, wait, they're media. We're official, we're exempt. We get to do stuff that no one people can't. Might as well cruise over to our buddy's Alden American over there. You can see him. We are missing. And uh, let's talk about coilovers on the galaxy, because it needs them. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you see that? <laughs> Who's that guy? I doesn't even have him on it yet. Howdy. Wow, look at that. Good morning. All right, we just got to the Ellen American booth. Check that out. That's pretty freaking fancy. But yeah, we got a bunch of cool new products. Uh, we're going to be doing one of these kits on the Fox body, and we've got the stuff we've done on Michael's channel before. But look at all these different options you have. You have smooth bodies and coilovers, eyelet coilovers, double adjustable coilovers. Um, this is the kind of style that's in the front of my Galaxy, and they just came out with uh, a double adjustable on the top. So this is where your shock would be. Um, and normally it's just an eyelet with a nut, and you can actually uh, adjust this guy and change the damping in, inside the shock, which is really cool so a um, bunch of cool stuff yeah I've used this on a bunch of my vehicles in the past so Alden American uh, there's your phone number your contact stuff they'll set you up with literally anything you want they got catalogs right here with basically any part number and anything that you could possibly need which you can find all this stuff on their website but these were the guys that back in 2019 we made the Crown Victoria front suspension kit so if you have a Crown Vic swapped F100 we have basically like a bolt-in kit for that thing uh, it was a debut product in 2019 right yeah it was a new product um, but yeah so Crown Vic got swap guys F100 guys if you're a Galaxy guy if you're an F uh, Torino guy whatever you got going on uh, they have a product that'll fit your car so check them out all right, well, just made it outside. Um, I haven't seen this before, so this is BS for Builds. This is a Huracan, right? I think so. Yeah, I think it's what's left of one at least. <laughs> Heck yeah. I know my buddy Chris has a role in this car, so that's pretty cool. Shout out to Chris. This thing's sick. I like this kind of stuff. It's just like oh, yeah. anti pierce as hell. It's great. It's like it has a, like almost like a dirt can kit for like a front of a Chevy but flipped around backwards. Yeah. Damn. That's so sick. Alrighty. Gotta switch to the big camera. So uh, we're waiting for the Optima ride along. I don't know which car we're going in yet, but we got signed in. We're getting suited up in a little bit here. Uh, they're just trying to get tire situations figured out. But the, uh, the amount of Optima like pro touring cars that's here, it quite literally wrapped. Like it starts over here and it goes all the way down to the end by that booth and all, you can see them all the way along that wall. And they are not like, like There's these are nice cars. Oh, all of them are all really, them. really nice cars. Yeah, I mean, you just look at this lineup. I was checking out this Fairlane. This Fairlane's freaking rad. But I mean, yeah, just look at this Mustang right here. It's, what's that? Coyote with a whipple on it. Just casual, no big deal. That's a stock car style motor setup. So you see that yep. breather setup? Oh yeah. That's what, that means that motor probably rose past like 7,500. Oh yeah, this is so rad. If I had a Fairlane, this is exactly what I would do with it. Oh yeah, that'd be sweet. Yeah, it'd be so sweet. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that is super cool. I like that sweet dash too. Yeah. His isn't faded. <laughs> it's interesting on the back window too. He's got this little cup thing. Those are rad. Damn, that's cool. Wow, you know you're a hot boy when you got carbon fiber inner fenders. That's a huge cash can too, oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Thought mine was set up big. Oh my gosh, it's all flared out, big wing. Big wing gang, got the Willwood Mustang, so it's pretty good. And then uh, they have the, I believe it's a Fast 8. I never saw the movie, but it's a mid-engine Hellcat swap charger. Just when you think you've seen it all, somebody does this. I know. <laughs> This thing's, this thing's built by Speedcore too, who built the all-carbon all fiber charger. This thing has a, a Lamborghini gearbox in it. Do you know that? A transaxle? Gated. Yeah, it's, well, it's got a Lam I, I don't remember which Lambo, but it has a Lam You can literally see the Lamborghini logo on the gearbox. That's insane. Full hydro setup. 
Oh my gosh, this is sick. I bet this thing is just stupid to drive. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. This thing's really it probably insane. hooks. It hooks big time. Oh, I'm sure. All right, so they got Tanner Costa's drift taxis over there. You see Cameron Volta's. Uh, he's got a Pro Light, and then there's some autocross cars that I know drift right back there. So. I'm hoping if all goes well, we can ride in the drift taxi, that eight and a one VW LS swapped. Um, wild. That thing is, I'd like to ride in that. That'd be cool. I'd say she's a little tight there, bud. I can't, I can't reach my shoe. What do you need me to do? Oh, <laughs> put your foot down. Don't break my finger, please. You having a rough time getting out of that suit there, guy? Probably get it on. <laughs> Dude, it, <laughs> you got a dump truck with that thing on. <laughs> so we're gonna ride in the drift taxi with Tanner Faust. Uh, so we're putting suits on. Luckily mine fits, Sean's is not. So he's gonna try a second one. But uh, it should be pretty fun. Well, this is a, this is pretty cool. Walking in front of this not open to the public thing. Got my head sock on, ready to rip. So probably a total of like 25 seconds. Nice. The so how much power does this car make? It's 700 with just the motor, 200 with nitrous, but the nitrous is not on for yeah. this no. stuff. The tires are not uh, the softest. Yeah. And so it's it doesn't have a, enough grip to need the extra. Too Makes much. sense, yeah. But, um, yeah, it's a mean, mean NA 700 horsepower, so it's nice. Nice. So is this a dog box? It is. It's just a... Um, G-Force. Okay. So just a four speed, kind of NASCAR style. Yeah, yeah. It kind of became uh, the way to go in drifting around 2008, I'd say. People tried a lot of different things. I think I had one of the first cars with the G-Force. It was a Scion TC with a NASCAR motor. Oh, okay. Still have that car. But yeah, so just four speed. I think the top wheel speed's like 156. Okay. That's pretty good, especially for a four speed. Yeah. Are you in third around this, or are you still in uh, We'll be second, third. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we'll go take a look at it. There's a lot of stuff to hit, so you'll see we'll just sort of dodge stuff. Got it. If you guys are good to go. Sounds like fun. Yeah, let's do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
salt water, I think. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, yeah, no. Well, that I was... think it's down. What'd you think? Yeah. Pretty good, yeah. Yes, I Not too bad? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. So was that fuel or water? Just water. That's what I thought. I saw yeah. that I saw he had his, his water temp was like 230. Yeah, yeah. It so just, I was it like, just got hot. And like whenever you guys were getting out, it was fine. It was just like leaking a little bit out this this overflow right yeah. here. But it's not and moving. then everyone on the sideline started freaking out because it, it just blew the cap off. Oh. And so then it started like really got it, got you know, it, got fully it, yeah. coming out. But yeah. it's it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, two, when we I saw two seventeen, I should have just done a cool down. Yeah. Because once it gets over two twenty, it just ramps. But it sounded and then cool. when you do the big burnout, even you know, <laughs> yeah. like, well, fuck, let's push the rest of this water out of here. Yeah. And yeah, it's super fun. I figured it, it was yeah. crazier for him in the back seat, huh? With the back seat, yeah. In the front, you're you're gl gliding along. Yeah. Like it's a uh, pretty. Calm. But you're swinging a lot in the back. Oh, yeah. In the back, you're moving a little bit with the back end. Yeah. yeah. For but sure. there's not that much yeah, dude. grip to really chuck you around yeah. anyway. No. Yeah. But you can probably feel you're a lot closer to the walls. Than the oh yeah, look over the walls right there. <laughs> like, this dude is on the wall. Awesome. That's sick. Okay. Yeah, I remember the distinct yeah, exhaust the on this car was what it was really crazy. You can't beat that. That's what so what do you rev this car out to? Nine and change, I think. Wow. Oh my god. Okay, I'll yeah. it right I'm only eating the ones just that's why my training tail was up high right there. That's the single of the exhaust coming out right there on the passenger yeah. side. This, the reason for this was this car was built to go uh, to do some rounds of Formula D, just a couple. Yeah. Oh, okay. It ended up doing like six. But the last car that I had built with Stefan Papadakis was a TC that had a NASCAR motor, but you could hammer the firewall. The new rule is the firewall is the same. So this car starts off all wheel or front wheel drive. Yeah. So the firewall is super far forward. So there wasn't enough room for the exhaust and get the motor as far back as possible. Possible, so the exhaust had to well, come forward. Got it. Yeah, that makes sense. A guy showed up with a pipe bender and did all this stuff in 12 hours, and then wow, just that's ran up a four-inch pipe all the way back from there. Yeah, that's crazy. That's wicked. Oh my gosh. It's all sequential. Man, what an absolute treat. That was, that cool, was insane. Wasn't it? Oh my goodness. In the backseat, I had to feel crazy. Bro, look over and he was like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, he was like, oh, hey, there's a wall there. <laughs> yeah, that was wild. Yeah, so that was uh, the, the water, I guess. It overheated a little bit and popped the plastic cap off the overflow. But man, that's crazy. Tanner's a really cool guy, too. Shout out to him for being such a rad dude. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Very, very down to earth guy, for sure. I think we're going to swing back down here in probably about six hours or so and possibly ride in one of the off-road trucks. Uh, so change it up a little bit, but not a bad way to start a FEMA. Definitely not. Just casual things on a Tuesday at 10 o'clock in the morning, right? Oh yeah. Stuff you normally do. It's all the time. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Sean's getting some food real quick. I was just standing in line waiting for food and I was like, oh, wait a minute, I recognize this. This is a Stratman 6x6, I think Hellcat Swap Gladiator. Like, gosh, I can't even fathom how much money it was to stretch this thing like that. But, oh wow. Yeah, it's definitely nice. In case you guys are uh, into the nitty gritty on a lot of YouTubers cars that you don't get to see. This thing has two curry axles ran in serious with each other. That is just, what in the world? That's not cheap. Oh my gosh. Dude, look at that Subaru. That thing is so sick. Oh my god. Oh, this is dope. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is sick. <laughs> Oh wow, that's kind of cool. Oh, bro, this thing's like legit quality. This thing's very clean. Oh yeah? Dude, this is sick. This is gonna be bad. Wow, they full tube chassis this thing. Was that, was that a T56? Yeah, for sure. Hellcat motor. Whoa. Nice. It's kind of cool. Frightening. So rad. I was gonna say, it's like pretty much acceptable. It looks so rad. It looks like it belongs there. You can see I didn't have to cut the firewall, but it sits so low and so far back. That's rad. Yeah. Yeah, off road boy. Got the googly eyes. So this thing has a small block forward in it, built by Michael Cox. This thing's pretty trick. I like it. Look at the overlayer. Radius arms. Huh. Oh, this thing's clean. If I was gonna get a Ferrari, this is one I'd get in it. I would that do something cute. just like this. If I remember right, this has like an equal length uh, <laughs> header built by Riley Slayer, the dude with the white Firebird. Really? Uh, yeah, and it sounds ridiculous. This thing's sick. Look at that. Oh, oh yeah, the dash. That is wild. Yeah. You get a chance, man, to jump up. Yeah, when they were loading it, it got effed up. You can see the kit, all the cracks in the kit. That sucks. This thing's sick, though. All right, so if you've never been to SEMA, I'm going to tell you one thing. There's a lot of uh, what you call a SEMA specific build. And this, you'll, I'll just, just look. So it's a nice truck, don't get me wrong, but 
also the wrap has like a bunch of flaws. The stacked blocks is pretty, pretty rad. Everything's painted. Everything is painted. Um, but yeah, the stacked blocks really does it for me. I think that's true SEMA quality. Yeah. Also, pretty much all these larger trucks don't have front drive shafts, which you'll notice. That's a big dent in the door. <laughs> Hood gap on point, tent is super scratched. Nice. I don't like being that guy that like doesn't have a car at SEMA and then shits on SEMA cars, but it's literally like the like memes of SEMA is like this truck basically. Like it has nice stuff, but I don't know. Yeah. It's pretty good. Bruh. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Really? Really? Yikes. I'm a fan. Oh, really? I'm a clutch fan. It's a 302 engine. No way. It's got a little baby motor in it. Oh, it's a 150, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, that one's really nice. Not my style, but that one's really nice. I like the, the line of tire shine if you look down all of them. They all have little puddles of tire shine around them. Pretty much all of them do. I, don't know, I just figure if you're gonna bring a car to SEMA and you're gonna wrap it like that, like at least take body filler and like fix all the pinholes before you throw wrap over it and like fix rust spots and things like that, you know? But whatever, I don't know. He's got a car here, I don't, so I can't really talk. It's like straight up jewelry. All right, well, as you can see, we're not even close to halfway down with one haul yet. Oh, we just totally walked right past the Ford booth. That's cool. Oh. Alright, just got the McLeod. Gonna check out a couple of their products. These are the guys that... So in my F100, we did a lightweight Super Street Pro. We did a lightweight aluminum flywheel and a Super Street Pro clutch in the truck, and it handles consistent 6,000 RPM clutch dumps, and slipping the clutch, drag racing it at like five, 6,000 RPMs, and things still going in strong, so that makes some really good stuff. So we're gonna talk about what we can possibly do in, the, in 2022. Bad boys, look at the shifter. Look at how tight that engagement is. Look how short the throw is. That's crazy. That's super short. Yeah. All right, guys, so we just rolled up into AFR, so you can see right up there. So I met with these guys back in January. Uh, we talked about working on the F100. So we have another engine build, which I guess I'll announce here. Uh, Sean and I are building two engines for two vehicles, one for his, which you guys don't know about, and my F100. So we're gonna be putting an a AFR top end on my F100 with a new engine that should make, I'm hoping, or I feel like the 400 wheel is pretty realistic. Completely realistic, it should totally make that. Yeah, so we're gonna be trying to do a solid lift cam, fuel injection, AFR heads, forged bottom end, but it's still gonna be a stock stroke 302 so we can rev this thing to the sky. Um, and this is what's gonna help us reach that power goal. So these, I believe these are their, well, yeah, these are their 185s. So this is actually the exact head. So these are the 185s you can see right there. So these is this is the exact head that we have for this engine setup. Uh, and you can just see the finish here. I mean, the porting. I could like, I could, I could, I could shave, I could comb my hair in, in the bottom of this cylinder head. That's, that's crazy. So, and you can see the CNC porting through all of these. Uh, it's pretty, pretty, pretty crazy for sure. So, yeah, I'm really excited to run these. You can see the side of the size of these ports too. Um, and if you don't know, so these are actually, this is their port match intake manifold that they got for these, this thing. Uh, and that's one hell of a single plane for sure. I mean, look at the rise on that thing. And then the plenum volume. The, I mean, you can just look and see how much room you have through the runners. Yeah, it's a straight shot too. I mean, insane amount of air. So this thing is is already CNC port match on an 8.2 deck. So if you have a small 302, 347, 363, whatever you got going on, um, you can get their cylinder head. And I think they have 185, 195, 205, 215. I think they might go larger. Uh, and then you can get an A2 deck intake and it'll be all port mats and ready to go. And they're actually coming out with, I believe, I think in 2022, uh, they'll have an intake manifold set up for the 9.5 deck motor. So if you have a 351 Windsor. We've also got some really cool valve covers we'll probably end up rocking. Yeah, just a little sneak peek for you guys. The one thing I did want to also point out is their new product for SEMA, um, which is a Gen 3 Hemi head. And uh, look at, oh my God, dude, look at how big the valve is on that thing. So I believe this is Gen 3 Hemi, and uh, that's- Just a flow. Look at that, this is like, I, I, I want this display. Can you guys just send me, AFR, can you guys just send me one of these so stands so I can so I can bolt ahead to it and just like stare at it and then like use this part as a mirror to get ready in the morning? Bro, I mean, these ports are just, not only are they like perfectly designed like to be as direct as possible. Look at the valves, oh my gosh. Yeah, that is something else. Gen 3 Hemi swap guy, uh, big block Chevy guy, all sorts of cool stuff. So, a little sneak peek for you guys for watching the video. We are gonna be doing some really cool stuff with them and, uh, at the end of this year and next year. So, yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool, I just saw Weston, there's Weston Chamberlain and the Hellcat. Oh, this thing's sick. 
Yeah. Hell yeah. Fully stripped. Oh yeah, exactly how it should be. Yeah, right? How you guys doing? Just doing dandy, how about yourself? Oh, dude, I can't complain too much. Yeah. Nobody's gonna listen to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> how you doing, sir? Dude, you got the awesome camera sitting there. I know. You guys are ready to rock and roll. Yeah, I have my bigger one, but it's too damn heavy, so I was like, I'm gonna well, go to the little one for right now. That's true, I get tired Did of you guys see the big yeah. one with the, the guy had the, the Oh, chair. the whole crane yeah, the thing. I got some big old yeah. crane on yeah. the top, and he's just you're bouncing that thing off. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's a good one. I mean, oh, I don't yeah. think I could do it, but yeah. somebody else could. <laughs> somebody else could get some crispy yeah. footage. I got too oh, much walking dude. today to do that. Oh, dude, my feet hurt, and I haven't even walked that much today. Yeah. I just looked at all the places I could walk, feet start hurting. Yep. Yeah. Immediately. Last, sure. last time I was here, I didn't know that this was a possibility. I know. But my fing hip hurt when I got home. Yeah. <laughs> I know I'm fat, but I ain't old yet. Yeah. Come on now. This place is huge. <laughs> yeah. I've explored this building over here. Yeah, that's about yeah, yeah, That's what I was gonna say. That's all, that's all I've got. We've gotten from that door to here. The thing about it is, I uh, I had the, the Uber drop me off right out there, and I was like, yeah, oh, there's my car. Yeah. yeah. All right, looks good, dude. So what do you guys do? The one thing I also love about seeing what Sean's experiencing right now is the uh, immense amount of uh, famous people that just casually walk around. So there's Western Chamberlain, very cool guy actually, very down to earth. You can see he's just, I turned the camera off, we were just having a generic conversation, which is really cool. Um, he's a super cool dude. But uh, for cars and people here, I mean, you have TJ Hunt's cars now behind me, uh, and it wouldn't surprise me if I was walking around and I just would see him or any other YouTubers we saw. I mean, we're riding with Tanner Faust at 10 in the morning, just like it was like nothing else, you know, no big deal. So crazy. But uh, yeah, if you ever have a chance to come here, I highly recommend doing so. Um, it's definitely worth the while, but running around talking to all the companies that I currently work with and uh, actually making work out of it. But uh, trying to highlight some of my favorite cars that I've seen. So here's a TJ Hunt Street Hunter C8. I'm not really a C8 guy at all, so we'll take a little bit of time out of that. Oh. Yeah, see I wasn't kidding, there's TJ right there. <laughs> so, here's his Lambo. But, I hope to get on this caliber one day to where I can actually put a car like this together. I mean, the amount of money that goes into these things is unreal. So what I'm saying is like the video and tell your friends to watch my videos so I can make more cool cars. Travis works with Amsoil and he's actually in their booth right now. And oh my god, dude, look at how professional this guy looks. Hello. Hi. Hello. Why, he looks so professional. I know, right? <laughs> Dang, guy. <laughs> All right, so check this out. So this is a Blueprint Engines 302, and it's a four bolt main, eight two deck motor. I believe this is eight two deck. Yes, it's 302. Bro, look at the webbing in here. It's so much better. Look at that, look how thick the cylinder walls are. Look at the china walls. Dude, you could bore the crud out of this thing. Oh my God. That's us. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's something else, holy crap. All right, so for all my F, F Series guys, I'm trying to find all the, the bump size and dent size and all the classic trucks. So this has been all of our Instagram, so I finally get to see it. But this thing's sick. So I think it's, what, 67? Damn. Damn. Super, supercharged Godzilla in it. Wow, this thing's nice. Check this out. So nice. Even the exhaust on this thing is like spotless, so. See, I know you guys might want to hose me for what I was saying outside about the Super Cab, but this, this is a SEMA truck. The truck outside was not. You can fight me all you want in the comments. That's, I'm gonna stand by that. This is a really nice piece. Shelby like this one day, but now we have a little bit of an easier 
access to this thing. My cam All right, well, my camera died, but this is the Speedcore Wide Body 68 Charger. I think it was built for the new Fast and Furious movie, but check this thing out. So it's way wider than stock. It's flared out a lot. I don't know how many inches, but um, yeah, it's fully caged. And yeah, you can see there's clear bra on the floor. It's got old school Ferrari gauges, has a hydro in it, has nitrous in it, has a Hellcat in it, just casually. So that's cool. Yep, all cantilever. As you can see underneath it. Oh my God, that just looks so rad. But yeah, and then the color on this thing's sick. Oh yeah. But long run of Optima cars. See, a lot of them moved. I think they were all running today and we were inside the building. But um, yeah, we'll probably tomorrow watch a few more of these guys actually drive their cars uh, just for fun because we're tired of walking around a bunch. But SEMA day one so far. So Sean, what do you think of the first day of SEMA? This place is huge. Yeah, we still haven't seen all of it. No. Probably seen like, I eh, might have seen half of it by now. Maybe. But not in like depth at all. No, we really just no. were. We walked around about half of it. Yeah. So it was it was fun for sure. There's still two entire buildings we haven't even been in yet. Yeah, yeah. And we just kind of only saw like half of the outside. We didn't really look too closely. I mean, we were we we're in like the Hoonigan area for what 15 minutes, if that. Maybe. And then left. There's a crazy amount of stuff here. So, yeah. But whatever. We'll get there. That's why we have tomorrow. Unlike the last time I was at SEMA, I had one day to do everything, and it didn't work. So we're trying again. But yeah. So you can see this is where we were drifting. And uh, basically he would come along this wall. We were getting pitched up against this wall right over here, which was crazy. And you could see where we were pulling out, but that thing was sick. Dude, that thing was wild. Did you see when we were coming down here and he would clutch kick it right here and get on the wall? Oh yeah. And I was like, okay. I was in the back seat, I was looking, I'm like, the wall is right there. <laughs> crazy. Makes me want to build a drift car even more, dude. It looks like so much fun. Look at all the trucks. Yes. Stratosphere. Hey, we go. Get clear. Thank you. Oh, Sit down. It feels so good. Really it's amazing. Oh out my god. Day, wow. Yeah. Who would have thought walking was so damn hard? <laughs> I ain't done. Well, I don't realize you get five miles. <laughs> yeah. Oh, easy. Damn. Look at these guys. Nice. Yeah, real stealthy vehicle, bro. Right there. Nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God, this thing is huge. I have not seen this in person yet. Damn. It's got the steps. Wow. Hey, honey, long time no see. <laughs> Watch out, do I need to get you a ladder? Oh, wow. I'm saying you went too soon. Sorry. <laughs> Howdy. What's up? Wow, this thing's a lot bigger than I thought. Oh, paparazzi. Oh, no. What's up, bro? Howdy. Sick whip, bro. Dang. Man, Austin's real good to you. Austin's awesome. You should see if uh, they have anything else. <laughs> Watch out there, boss. Yeah, it's a big rig. What chassis is this thing on? It's a 1999 Freightliner school bus short bus, and it has not been modified at all. It's just a short bus, and they made the bed custom to fit the short bus perfectly. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so we what just got to- What do I do with my hands? Do, what do you do with your hands? I've what? not done this before. Yeah, you're new. Yeah, of course. So we just got out of sushi. Sushi sucks, so I didn't get anything. Tell me about this thing. What year is it? 1969 is it? Ford F800 crew cab. It's Hodson Motors. They're pretty awesome. I came to town, they saw I didn't have any wheels, and they're like, hey, dude, take give me some big wheels, dude. Dude, this thing's awesome. Yeah, I actually right. took it. I, I borrowed it on a 1500 mile road trip. I was supposed to come to San Diego, but it didn't work oh, out. Oh, yeah, I was sitting here going all the way to me, and you didn't come to me. But anyway, it's huge. It's sitting on a 1999 uh, Freightliner short school bus chassis. Oh, yeah. They didn't shorten it at all, they just made the bed custom. So if you see, it's actually, it's not very long. But it's stubby, like so, the back of it. Yeah, so is this like a fat fender flare, like uh, 
like front or rear fender. That's so like this is, uh, yeah. So this is exactly. I think it's that. I think they said it's four fenders and it's all steel. And yeah. If you look inside, you can even see the weld seams. Oh really? Yeah. So it's four fenders put together. Wow. Yeah, that seems sick. And then uh, it's got a 24 valve Cummins in it nice. with an Allison uh, 1000 six speed. Oh my. And inside. It is pretty cool. Wow, it's even got the kick out steps. Yep. It's in. So, what's the interior? It's, it's like an F 150, like a newer F 150 seat. Oh, okay. It's like a, this like almost looks like King Grand stuff. Oh, it is? Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. Nice. And then you got a King Grand center console. Yep. Vinegar. Vinegar. Left some of his lunch in there. Wow, dude. And, uh, That's pretty it's, trick. It's awesome. Oh, it's even got the old school handbrake. It nice. does. That's freaking rad. Well, that's badass. Yep. Not if a you bad look in the back seat. Look, it's got hater vision. Really? Oh, bitching. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And then, I mean, dude, this bed's huge. It's crazy. And then yeah. the back of the truck, you know, I think it's custom tailgate. Yeah. Custom tailgate, bumper. Oh, it's got little footsteps? Yeah, dude, this thing's huge. What's, uh, how long are you taking to build this thing? Honestly, I'm not sure. Gosh, this thing's rad. Yeah, yeah. I've never seen this thing. A bunch of times on the Instagram. Oh, yeah. This thing's nuts. Wow. That's rad. Well, awesome, dude. Well, it's nice to, not a bad first day at SEMA. No. I mean, gosh. Pretty so. awesome day, dude. Yo, big time. Happy you're able to hang out a little bit. Oh, yeah. All right, well, I think it's the smart thing is I'm going to go ahead and cut the video off here. Uh, the end of day one. So, all of this video plus more that I didn't film was day one, which was pretty rad. Uh, we're going to pick it up at day two tomorrow. So, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Like the video if you did enjoy it. Let me do you think down in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.